<laughs> but you know what? Hey, this morning, have anything you want because the weather is actually going to be quite nice compared to what we've seen for the last couple of days. We're back to somewhat of a more seasonable pattern, at least for this time of the year in late June. We're already in those mid 70s, certainly a bit cooler than what we've seen over the last couple of days. I'll certainly take it. Here's a tropics update. Tropical storm Brett is continuing to strengthen. You can kind of see it on satellite here. No discernible eye right now, but we're getting very close to hurricane status, at least with winds right now up to 70 miles per hour. Closer to home, the stubborn stalled out front is just refusing to move, still giving us the chance for some showers and thunderstorms almost every single night for basically the last two weeks is this thing is just not moving at all. We're left with a lot of cloud cover, but the winds themselves are coming out of the east. So instead of the southeast, yeah, we're still getting some of that hum humid air, but it is a little bit cooler. So we're going to start off the morning. You don't need to have the AC cranked up to high just yet. By the later parts of the day, probably around your lunch hour, yeah, that might be more so ideal considering high temperatures. They're going to be in the mid 90s, maybe even lower 90s, but heat index values are going to be in the triple digits. Here's a look at those. 103 for Temple, only 100 for Colleen, 109 for Waco, and 106 for College Station. That's not anywhere near heat warning category, but we're under heat advisory category. That's going to be in effect until 8 o'clock tonight. This was just issued a few hours ago. No surprise here, but of course, you definitely want to stay weather aware. Even though it's cooler, these kind of temperatures can still cause heat related illnesses, so definitely take the proper precautions. All right, throughout the day today, any kind of showers, thunderstorms we see have basically already happened. Now, some models are showing the chance for some isolated showers and storms by the early parts of this afternoon and this evening. As a result, the Storm Prediction Center has put up a level one severe risk just in case any of those storms come severe from the winds and the hail. It's possible most model data isn't supporting it, so I only have about 20% coverage for today. By tonight, most of the shower activity will be out of the question. We're back down to partly cloudy skies. Still pretty muggy, though, as the winds shift to, again, an east-southeasterly flow, pulling up plenty of moisture right off the Gulf of Mexico. Lows getting down to about 76. All right, here's your next 48 hours. A little bit of activity by early Friday morning along I-45, Mejia, Fairfield, even going as far south as Centerville. Then it kind of just goes out of the region by Friday afternoon and late evening. We start to see, again, maybe a little bit of stuff coming in to the northwest, but most model data again is not really supporting a whole lot of that. By Saturday, we start to clear out a little bit, maybe again an isolated shower sprinkle, nothing too big. Hey, if we get rainfall out of this, we're going to be very grateful because we could all use a little bit of rain. Model data isn't supporting a whole lot other than that little cell that was along I-45. All right, here's a look at your seven day forecast showing temperatures across central Texas, Brazos Valley. Definitely much improved. We're looking at 90s for Thursday and Friday. Then by the weekend, all right, yeah, triple digits are coming back, but we're looking at drier air moving into the region. So our feels like temperatures, they're going to be a lot better.